everything you've had is good or bad. And all you need to do, check the end of that dream. If the end is bad, that's a bad dream. If the end is good, although they were terrible things before, maybe they were pursuing you, they were pursuing you, they were pursuing you. All of a sudden you ran to somewhere they couldn't catch you. That's ended well. So that's good. But at the same time, I want you to be careful and to be strong. Because they are not supposed to be pursuing you. They are supposed to pursue them until they beg you to come back. There are multitudes of dreams that men push away because they don't know the meaning it now backfires on them. I'm now going to go specific. Food in the dream. If a person is eating dry meat or fish in the dream, this is an open manipulation by witches and wizards to cage you and to put sickness in your body. It's also a very clever way to give you human flesh to eat and you partake in the devil's table unconsciously. The Bible says it's a table of the Lord and also a table of the devil. All those food served by night caterers in the dream, they are very wicked entities whose agenda it is to weaken your spiritual life and cause weaknesses in the body. And then to introduce strange sickness into the body. And this is how they program things into people's body and they cannot carry out spiritual exercises again. Bible reading prayer becomes very difficult. Are you here tonight? And I've been feeding you. They are eating fish. They are eating meat. Tonight, the God of Elijah shall deliver you in the name of Jesus. You say, what is the way out of this? Immediately you have such dreams. You wake up and ask the Holy Spirit to purge you immediately. Then you learn how to resist the enemy and attack them in return by using your spiritual weapons. This is why any member of Mountain of Fire who can read English language and Yoruba language, you must go and buy 101 weapons of spiritual warfare. It is one of the most powerful and one of the most blessed books that God has given to this ministry that has helped thousands. Because by the time you try weapon number one, and the enemy is standing, weapon number two, weapon number three, weapon number four, weapon number five, weapon number six, weapon number seven, weapon number eight, weapon number nine, weapon number ten, weapon number eleven, weapon number twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. By the time you get to forty, let me see the enemy that was standing against you. That's why it's important to get that book, one hundred and one weapons of spiritual warfare you eat porridge in your dream this is the enemy giving you excreta feces to eat and to paralyze your spiritual life and introduce the spirit of unexplainable hatred to your person what is the way out you must command the blood of Jesus to purge out your stomach in the spirit realm and you must cleanse your entire blood system with the blood of Jesus by praying a simple prayer I cleanse my blood with the blood of Jesus I purge my intestine and stomach with the blood of Jesus you are eating rice or beans the dream this is one of the most popular ways by which the devil introduces lesser demons into people to weaken their spiritual ability and power if they are now feeding you with solid food Potatoes, eba, cassava, kufu, pandediam, amala, yams. These are poisons, poisons to cause terrible and sometimes incurable diseases. What's the way out? You ask the Holy Spirit to purge you. And you tell the devil that his weapon that is fashioning against you will not prosper. You now key yourself into the school of power. When next they bring their food, you will ask the person who brought it to sit down in the name of Jesus and begin to eat what they've come to give to you. I pray for somebody here. Every hour of satanic food 
backfired into your life shall backfire in the name of eating plantain banana whether they are ripe or they are not ripe this is poison again introduced by the devil's camp into your body and this will make you lose interest in anything that has to do with your spiritual destiny what is the way out again you ask the Holy Spirit to purge you and renounce the devil and his wicked works confess that you are a child of God and that no man can pluck you out of the hands of God eating sand or dust or clay this is devil's attack to cause spiritual heaviness and lower your spiritual stamina treatment as the Holy Spirit to purge you and to strengthen you and all the power that has leaked out of your body as the Lord to bring it back eating in a party where you know those who are there or you don't even know them this is spiritual distraction it just distract you from your spiritual activities treatment you destroy the devil's counsel against your life in the name of Jesus you stand up from that dream and scatter that party and you ask the Holy Spirit to shift your attention away from the things of the world climbing of mountain begin to tell the Lord to forgive you of any sin that will stop your breakthroughs and deliverance tonight talk to the Lord now Jesus is here his power is here there are people here he wants to deliver in the name of Jesus is greater and higher than all names it is not a modern name it is the name that's of the name of sea places now you must tremble at the sound of that name it is not an ordinary name name I'll be made whole with love. Who come with sorrow? Who come sing sing so? See that strength is full. Father, let your power move. Anyone here having mobile pain in the body? Anyone here having any clinical diagnosis? Anyone here having problems with the breast? Problem with the womb? Anyone here with a case of cancer? Anyone here with epilepsy? Anyone here with heaviness in the head? Anyone here who is suffering from infirmity that started from the dream? Anyone with stubborn high blood pressure, receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Stretch your right hand towards me now. Father, these hands that are stretched here, put your hot coals of fire upon these hands. Let them become the hands of healing, the hands of deliverance, the hands of power, the hands of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Now, if you have any infirmity in your body, don't feel sorry for that place. Smite it 21 times and begin to shout, go back to your senders. Let's go. Something is going on. 
Now with faith in your heart Begin to do what you could not do before you got here Use that leg Use those eyes Check that breast Run if you cannot run Walk if you cannot walk Bend if you cannot bend Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you Check your body very well Aha Something is still going on over there The Lord is moving in His power And is causing His purging power to move into people's lives Aha Enough is enough Everybody will shout this loud and clear Say Every witchcraft instruction Against my destiny In the name of Jesus Destroy the instruction Destroy the instruction in the name of Jesus Destroy the instruction of witchcraft Against your life in the name of Jesus Name we pray. Somebody is about to rejoice. Pray this prayer with violence, merciless violence, powers holding my laughter. Can you shout it loud? You are liars. Father, let your anointing for healing, the anointing for complete deliverance, fall upon these hands in the name of Jesus. 
Now, if you have any infirmity in your body, this is time to smite it 21 times, shouting, Blood of Jesus. Let's go. Do it well. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen.